Good evening, and welcome to the new millennium. Happy New Year everyone, and thank you for watching BBC. We begin tonight's news with an unfortunate update from Helen Gresser University here in London. While most personal computer systems around the world were not affected by Y2K, it seems the development of the university's promising artificial intelligence, or AI, has come to a halt. Due to an overnight corruption, which is assumed to be due to Y2K, the entire system university staff and students had developed is no longer usable, and the university has decided to end the project altogether. Their artificial intelligence, which was meant to function as a new computer operating system, showed a lot of potential since its development began back in 1996. However, it was unforeseen how such a simple time change could turn into this fascinating project coming to a close. Let's look back now to an interview clip with the man who inspired the project, Professor Wilfred Howard, or who most students at the university referred to as, Professor Who. So, talk to me about this theory. With this new age of technology, and the theory of parallel universes, there is sufficient evidence to indicate that single bytes in computer language, or binary, can be considered to the digital realm what we consider atoms to our own physical universe. There may be an entire digital universe out there, but it's just a matter now of advancing our technology far enough to be able to merge it with this one. 